Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Hive Swap. I know I'm not the first person to play this game. In fact, I know this game has been quite the popular talking subject for anyone still in the Homestuck fandom. Is anyone really out there anymore? <laughs> Joking. But I know that a lot of people have been looking forward to this game. I was looking forward to this game. In fact, I got it when it first came out. And I'm going to play it in the hopes that this, my very first Let's Play, is enjoyable. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay. You gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster, the thing with all the legs and the teeth, the one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath and let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness and focus on what you know. Ugh, you can hear the breath. Ugh. Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside of the town of Haunt Switch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you not thinking about that right now, it might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Oh boy, time is of the essence. Let's start clicking on random shit. Let's see. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Darn. Joey, she said. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He'll protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Yeah, Roxy's pretty awesome. All right, so this is Joey Claire. And in typical Homestuck fashion, well, Homestuck, Hive Swap, whatever. In typical Andrew Hussey fashion, we have a lot of flavor text. There's gonna be a lot of flavor text in this game. It's easy to make your very own cake! Or something like that. You were really excited to get this thing for your birthday last year, but you ran into baking st- Excuse me. But you ran out of baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar, flour, or whatever, but it does- but it's not like you have any- Oh my god. It's been a long day. But it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, I guess. Joey. Oh my god, I love Joey so much. 
So, as I was saying, this is Joey Claire, and later on we're going to see who her family is and how she's connected. But, uh, spoiler, spoilers, spoiler alert, her babysitter is Roxy, and my voice for Roxy isn't the greatest, but it does... It gets the job done. <laughs> For some reason, it just paused. It's just like, all right. Let's listen to pause it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, Joey, I love you. Let's see, we have puzzles. Bluck? What? Okay. A pile of unsolved Rubik's Cubes. And, uh, Sparkling Simon. Hang on. And, oh my god. I want to say this is one of those, um... This is one of those toys that, like... Oh god, what was it? The toy crocodile that had the... The, the, the dental problems. And he'd bite you. Because that was fun. Alright, I'm gonna... I see you sparkling over there, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Appreciate. You give it a good, hard stare. Yeah. You're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. You really like this poster, but can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. I wonder if this has, if this is what it's like when adults go to museums and look at actual art. Ugh, I hope so. And I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but my screen glitches out every so often. It looks like, it, honestly, it fits with the very, very 90s vibe here because it looks like VHS glittery. That's not Jane. Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. Uh, that little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big loneliness. Hussy, I swear to God, if you hurt my babies, I... Oh, no. Homesuck was enough. Do not hurt these children. Now, hold on. Pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew. Hussy, I swear to God, if you hurt these children... Ugh, my God. made a mistake. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. But, uh, excuse me, I got a little bit sidetracked. Uh, I am sorry if the screen glitches out for you guys. I, that's the first time this has ever happened, but this is also the first time I've recorded this long, so, uh, apologies if that is bothersome. Let's see what this light is about. You briefly muse over the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? Nah, it's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. The sun has just set, making it for... Make, making it... Jesus. I'm a voice actor! The sun had just set. Making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, a timnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all the touchable and ephemeral and stuff. Blech. It'd be nice.
nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably a monster sheep. Oh no! Oh, every now and then you can see the puppery. Oh no! Poor puppy! If that icky, snaky thing hurt her, well, you use your buddy veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. Same. <laughs> Yikes. More of them? <sighs> Gentrification is a real monster. Hussy? <laughs> Hussy, we need to talk about your jokes, man. Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope that you hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by those eyeless horrors. Ugh. Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over and you laughed, and then everything turned to monsters? <sighs> Memories. I remember it as if it was just a few minutes ago. I remember it like it was yesterday. Alright, moving on. Your walkie talkie, half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Excuse me, wowzers. But you can't recall exactly what that something else was. Your babysitter got you this Junior Veterinarian's Med Kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Something's gonna happen to it, isn't it? Surprise is having puppies! How many? That's the surprise! Puppy surprise! Puppy surprise! <sighs> Whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster in an autumn afternoon. Yeah, I, I, I looked up the commercial for this puppy surprise thing because uh, apparently my older sister had one when she was a kid. And I barely remember the thing. But I looked up what the song might be, and it wasn't that. I don't remember how it goes. I was just... I did the Jack thing. <laughs> if anyone watches Jack Sam the Guy, he basically read it like that. <sighs> it's a great place to stash your keepsakes where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. How convenient! You reach inside the expectant plush canine and... Puppy Surprise is having puppies! Okay, so... We'll call you Wilbur. Muffins. Hmm... Reginald. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. No one would ever think to look for your precious diary key inside of a plush mom mother dog. Least of all your brother, who is upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. That used to belong to mom? Okay. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. 
you. Collect the diary key from this plush hiding room. <laughs> While you're at it, you think maybe you could keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's clothes. Just a feeling. A deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. We all have those, right? So yeah, like I said, this game is, uh, ooh, shit. Uh, every now and then that glitch, then this. Mom won this award around the same age as you for being the best at ballet. It's pretty. But yeah, like I said, this game is made by What Pumpkin Studios. If anyone is aware of the production history of this game, it's... Oh, it's a journey. I suggest you guys look it up if you're ever interested and don't know the story because I can relay it back to you, but I'm terrible with details at the moment. Maybe at another time. get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Yeah, Simon Says is always kind of, like... For me, it was always either Simon Says or Bop It. I think Bop It was more bossy, though. Oh, right. That's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game. I missed it. Sorry. accidentally clicked out of the dialogue without reading it. Uh, I got batteries! Who did I click on? What? Oh! Okay, I, cl I clicked on Star Avenue. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the street. Across the screen, probably. No. Wait. Definitely. And still kicking. Yeah. What am I doing? Okay, that was smooth. They should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. Okay, so I'd like to say I recognize a lot of these toys, like I know this is this is a thing from Rainbow Bright. This. So the point is, this is uh, from the nineties. Open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't really care. Oh my god! Look at this! Okay, so we definitely have like some. Oh gosh, sorry that I heard something. So. Definitely got some Lisa Frank kind of stuff going on. I don't know if anyone else has done this, but like writing your name in the bubble graffiti looking text kind of thing. That was my jam. And we have like a picture of Roxy. Very nicely drawn. Lots of little doodles. Wow. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of your humdrum life 
on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing! I mean, okay. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on ta today's terror mysteries. Some little detail. Mention... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I missed it. I, I didn't even realize I clicked it, but okay. April 13th. <sighs> April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary. <sighs> um, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends. I tried to make some new friends at school. To maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh well, you know how. You know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine. So I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are jerks, though. They called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, Diary, I think a bunch of kids at school might be... evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994! Sorry. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Hong Kong, motherfucker. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. Girl, if that ain't the most relatable thing I've ever read! October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since back to the beginning of summer. Beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while. For a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. And again, I click past things. Uh, haven't seen Pa around in months because Pa is neglectful and delusional and just... Ooh, we're gonna have some things to say about Pa. I miss Mom. If this is to be the last entry of your diary, then by gum, you're gonna scare the bejesus out of any- out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, Forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too, so I've got to... Okay. I don't have a darn clue what, I'm, what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Satisfied. You've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity. In the case of the worst... In case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Okay, so... I do not know how to voice Joey. The thing is about Homestuck characters and generally Hive Swap too, is there is no canon voice for anyone, so any interpretation could technically be right. Uh, give or take a few details. So, there is no detail for any of these characters, so it's a work in progress. It will be a constant work in progress. But, I think I can get the hang of it. Success! The 
walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose? It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it! Okay, so it is going off. Jude, you there? Are you all right? Oh, Jude, 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 Jude. Jude. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What are you gonna sound? Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> hang on. Sorry. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Oh. I don't know. Nope. That doesn't. I don't. I don't think this is gonna sound right. <sighs> Work in progress. Yes? Then covertly signaling status and requesting yours! Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code! Over. Enemy agents everywhere! Over. Wait! On over. Still unconfirmed vis a vis your condition following enemy certain encounter. Over. Please report bike status. How many and how gross? Over. Oh, Jude, I fucking love you. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great! Was worried! Over. That reminds me. After I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping back down the stairs. And I can't remember what I did at first, so I'm just- I'm feeling it out. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might come back to- it, I'm having a stroke. Please help. It might be headed back your way. I forgot to mention that Joey is supposed to be 14. I don't know what I'm doing with these characters. I, I apologize. No plans of leaving current location. You're, cr you're crawling with Crampton Vanguard. Over. Crampton Vanguard. Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal! Monster's likely just distraction! Could have obscured... Obscured? Yeah. Ugh, God. Could have obscured additional agents on approach! Over. Do you mean, like, more monsters, or... Can't discuss on unsecured channel! Can't be certain who's listening! But evidence points to Ed Terry's class in Conspiracy Cascade! Over. What? What? Uh... What? What? Over. Relieved you're taking this seriously! Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back down, Joey! Over. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on battlefield, Joey! Hoping presence of monsters have tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. <laughs> Trust is for chumps. Nah, come on, Joey. He needs you. Okay, that's... that's fair. Okay, what do I need to know? Your current position not secure! Large yard- large yard facing windows. Okay. Large yard facing windows! Located com- Location compromised to enemy! <laughs> location compromised to enemy! Situation rapidly deteriorating! Must have gone to attic, Joey! Over. The attic? Yes, the attic! 
quick! Strong door! Well stocked with tactical material! Take left out of bedroom, go upstairs! The highest room in the house! Over! I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic, lunatic brother? Oh my god! Are you having a stroke as I speak? I'm sorry. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand! You sounded confused! Trying to help! Over. You're being a bitch! Over. What? Okay, I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Uh, call the babysitter. Cops won't... C cops won't believe us? Call our babysitter! Too late to reach her at the lab working day long over... <laughs> Too late to reach her at lab! Working day long done! Over! Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts! Babysitter capable striper could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get to safety. Jude, I'm going to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. Why? What weapon? Sure no. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere! Over. You want me to fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpents present! Must be brave! Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents! Over. Stop saying serpents! Do you recall where the weapon is? Over. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood! All set then! Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap! Oh, crap! Over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain! Over. Over and out, squirt. And with that, I think it is good to stop. This video is a little long for my first try. And I'll try to catch you all in the next one.